Good morning, viewers, brothers and sisters. Our word for today, the outcast. James chapter 2, verse 1 to 9. If you show partiality, you commit sin. James chapter 2, verse 9. Once a Christian said, His face was grimy, his hair long and dirty. Beer stained his clothing and perfumed the air around him. When he stepped into the church building, the Sunday worshippers ignore him. They were stunned. When the man approached the pulpit, took off his wig, and began preaching, that's when they realized he was their pastor. I don't know about you, but I tend to be friendly and shake hands with the people I know and those who present themselves well. James issued a serious warning for people like me, he said, If you show partiality, you commit sin. Chapter 2, verse 9. Favoritism based on appearance or economic status has no place in God's family. In fact, it means we have become judges with evil thoughts. Verse 4. Fortunately, we can guard against preferential treatment by loving our neighbor as ourselves, no matter who our neighbor may be. Reaching out to the homeless man, the hungry woman, or the heartbroken teen means we fulfill the royal law according to the scripture. Verse 8. In a word that keeps the outcast at the arm's leg, let's show the love of Christ and embrace the one who needs our care the most. Once Jennifer Benson Schultz said, Forgive me, Lord, for prejudice. Remove its subtle lie. Oh, fill my heart with your great love that sent your son to die. True Christian love helps those who can't return the favor. That's the word for today. Now, um, it tells us that we should love one another, those who need of help, by showing our love that what Christ loved us, we should also show to the people unconditionally, love them and help them, those in, especially those in need, not by their appearance or status, or what they have done before, but showing unconditional love that Jesus gave us also unconditionally love us, no matter how, how we sin. That's what we should do to our fellow people also. Now, if you're new in my channel who have not accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, I'll lead you in prayer. You don't know when you die, where you're going. Jesus promised that in John 3.16, God gave His only begotten Son. Whoever believes in Him shall have eternal life. He promised uh, eternal life, Jesus. He died on the cross for us, save us for all unrighteousness. No matter what sin you have, God will forgive. He will forgive all our sins, no matter what you have done in the past or present. If you have this guilt feeling, God will remove it. I'll lead you in prayer right now. Lord Jesus, I'm sorry for all my sins. Please come into my heart. I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. You're the only God, Lord Jesus, and I'll give you all the praise and the glory. Now, we need to confess all these sins if you're uh, engaged in homosexuality, lesbianism, drugs. We need to confess it right now. Confess it to Jesus right now. He's here alive. The Holy Spirit is convicting you. If you're sinning in homosexuality, lesbianism, lying, cheating, confess it right now. Or renounce it. Or astrology, witchcraft, fornication, adultery, 
immorality, you're convicted, uh, you have no control in drugs, confess it right now. God will release you in this drug addiction. Smoking, confess it right now. Drinking, drunk, uh, drunk hard, confess all your sins right now. Jesus will forgive you. He's alive right now. Lord, thank you for forgiving me. Please cleanse me for all unrighteous. Holy Spirit, thank you for for letting me know about Jesus, for the conviction, and letting me know that Jesus alone is my Savior. And I'll give you all the praise, Jesus. You alone deserve all the praise and the glory, Jesus Christ. Now, if you're sick in the body right now, I'll also pray for you. Jesus promised that... By his stripes we are healed. He was wounded for our transgression and we are healed. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. That we read in the Bible, he heals all kinds of disease, sickness. If you have tumor, cancer, you're deaf, blind, mute, crippled, you're barren, you have kidney disease, heart disease, lung disease, liver disease, you have arthritis. All this will be healed by Jesus, by faith. I'm not the healer, but Jesus is the healer. He sent the Holy Spirit to touch us right now. Just place your hand right now. I'll pray for you that you're hurting. If you're fearful, this is not coming from God. You're depressed, anxiety, hopelessness, suicide tendency, confusion. This is not coming from God. This is coming from the enemy, the devil. I'll pray for you right now. Just place your hand right now where you're sick in the body. In the name of Jesus, I pray for this tumor to depart in the name of Jesus. Cancer, depart in the name of Jesus. Cripple. Be able to walk in the name of Jesus. I cast this out. Deaf, I cast this out. To be able to uh, hear in the name of Jesus. Mute, I cast this out in the name of Jesus. To be able to talk right now. Deaf, I cast this out. To be able to hear in the name of Jesus. Blindness, I cast this out in the name of Jesus. To be able to see. Begin to thank Jesus for the healing. For sending the Holy Spirit to touch you. I cast this uh, confusion, fear, worry, depression, hopelessness in the name of Jesus Christ. I cast this out in the name of Jesus. Begin to thank Jesus for the healing, for the comfort. Thank you, Jesus. I give you all the praise, Jesus. Give all the praise to Jesus Christ alone in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Amen. If you're new in this channel and you have not subscribed, Please consider subscribe. Click the subscribe button and please share the video. Much appreciated. Thank you for watching. God bless. See you tomorrow. Bye.